Welcome back. It's 913 and a consumer alert for you this morning. The economy is starting to rebound, but you can expect to pay more as the cost of everyday items go up. Everything from your groceries to your gas, coffee, lumber, all of these things are on the rise. Joining us live with what to expect ahead and what is behind this is Fox News business contributor Gary Kotbaum. Hey, Gary, good morning. Always good to see you. And good morning to you. You know, it's a little things. I notice even eggs, right, and milk, just the things I go to the grocery store to buy. What's behind this rise in prices? Let me explain it with the opposite way. Uh, the uh, cheapest thing to buy right now is disinfectant wipes. Huh. Uh, you can go to the store and it's all being offered two for one because there's too much of it. It's produced too much of it, so they can't get rid of it fast enough. And now that we're getting rid of the pandemic and people have 50 boxes of them in their house already, mm. uh, prices mm -hmm. can't have to come down. But on the opposite end, because of the pandemic and just very tough to transition to what kind of demand there's gonna be, there's not enough of a lot of things out there and thus prices have gone up. And as demand picks up, uh, that's what uh, pushes prices to the upside. We will hit some equilibrium, I gather, in the next uh, 90 to 180 days uh, where they uh, stop going up and they start coming down again. Because I can tell you some prices have absolutely skyrocketed uh, completely out of bounds of the norm. Things like lumber have just skyrocketed to where uh, I was reading housing costs went up just because of lumber. Uh, copper, steel, aluminum, you name them. And then there's the grocery store. So once those shortages get uh, getting, uh, in line again, uh, prices will moderate and start coming down again. It's just a matter of time. So what's the best advice then for people today who are paying more for things that they normally wouldn't pay a lot for, right? So what should they do? What should they expect? And, and you talked a little bit about it, right? There is kind of a light at the end of this tunnel, but we are still kind of in this tunnel. Well, look, when you're dealing with food, which is a necessity, uh, you, you're going to be biting the bullet right now. That, that's the nature of it. And, and your real goal is to know your supermarket and uh, know what kind of discounts they're giving. You know, you can walk into the local one. There's two for ones all over the place on a lot of things that they're, they're trying to move. Uh, but leave no doubt right now, it is tough on, on the shopper on uh, so many fronts. Uh, but I must say, again, it will relieve itself. And I think pretty darn soon. Uh, the one um, wild card will be gasoline because uh, that's yeah. a uh, big consumer uh, intake. Uh, the fact that airlines are flying a lot more now, uh, TSA is showing about 1.5 million a day right now through the turnstiles when it just four months ago it was like six, 700,000. So they're a big consumer of it. So that may stay up for a little while longer, but I think even that uh, we'll come back down to a certain extent, but we'll have to get past the summer months for that to happen. Very quickly, inflation, I don't think that's a word uh, the young people even know about, right? That's been like since the 1980s we've talked about inflation. Should we be worried about that right now, Gary? Well, only worry about uh, real bad inflation. Most people don't know this, but interest rates were in the mid-teens back then. Uh, people right now used to money market rates at zero and yields uh, one, two percent. So uh, I doubt we go there at this point in time or even get close, but uh, no doubt at the cash register, you're paying uh, more right now. But again, I, I do believe this uh, big time that uh, we'll get some relief here in about 90 to 180 days, but right now, a little bit rough. Yeah, I remember my parents paying 20% interest on their home back in the 80s. Yeah. That's how bad inflation was back then. Let's hope we don't even get close to that now. Gary, you always give such great information. Thanks for joining us. My pleasure. Thank you.